It's the beginning of 2019 and what a way to start the year. I've got some great news for you. VirtualBox from version 6.0 supports a nested virtualization when you use an AMD processor. Intel processors are not currently supported, but hopefully will be soon. But this is great news for anyone who has wanted to use a VirtualBox with GNS3 appliances such as iOS V routers or iOS V layer 2 routers. Previously, it's been a requirement when using QMU appliances such as iOS V, iOS V layer 2 and many others that you need to use a VMware product. You need to use VMware Workstation Pro or VMware Workstation Player. That requirement no longer applies if you've got an AMD processor and you want to use VirtualBox because VirtualBox now supports nested virtualization from version 6.0. This is fantastic news for all of us who want to use a free virtualization platform such as VirtualBox with GNS3. Now to enable nested virtualization, all you do is on the settings of the VM, in this case, the GNS3 VM. You go to System, Processor, and you enable nested VTX AMD V. That only works on AMD processors. If I try to do that on an Intel computer, notice system, processor, this box is grayed out. I can't enable nested VTX currently with VirtualBox 6.0 at the time of this recording, which is the beginning of 2019. Hopefully, VTX support, in other words, nested virtualization on Intel processors will become available shortly. I'm not sure when that'll happen, but with VirtualBox 6.0, nested virtualization is supported with AMD processors. So fantastic news. I'm recording this on the 2nd of January, 2019, and yesterday, I got some great news. I tweeted about this yesterday. So what a fantastic way to start the new year. I tweeted that it's so nice to see this checkbox in VirtualBox. And what I'm talking about is that VirtualBox now supports nested virtualization. This is something that people have been asking for for a long time. So. Notice here, on the VirtualBox forums, this was opened 10 years ago, nested virtualization on VirtualBox. The great news is that VirtualBox now supports nested virtualization. Be careful, however, it's only supported currently on AMD CPUs. But this is great news for users of GNS3. In the past, we've always recommended that you use a VMware Workstation Pro or VMware Workstation Player when running GNS3 because VirtualBox didn't support nested virtualization. But that now changes. So thanks very much to the VirtualBox team. VirtualBox from version 6.0 which was released on the 18th of December, 2018, now supports nested virtualization if you've got an AMD processor. Hopefully, we'll see support for Intel processors in the coming months. I'll keep an eye on this and I'll let you know when nested VTX is available. At the moment, once again, nested AMD V is functional. Hopefully this will be developed further and nested VTX will be supported. So let me show you the problem. Here, I've got a Windows computer. It's running an Intel processor. So when I look at the GNS3 VM, notice KVM support is not available. KVM support is false. If I try and import an iOS V router as an example, Notice the error message that I get. The remote server doesn't support KVM. You need a Linux server or the GNS3 VM with the VMware and CPU virtualization instructions. 
So we're told directly within GNS3 that we need to run the GNS3 VM on VMware. This is running, however, in VirtualBox. So it's not working in this example. But here I've got a Windows 8 laptop. The processor in this laptop is an AMD processor. It's not a very good computer. We've got four gig of RAM. It's an older AMD processor. But here I'm running GNS3 with Cisco IOS V routers. The GNS3 VM here is also running in VirtualBox, but notice the difference. KVM support is available. So here I've got a GNS3 VM running within VirtualBox, but the computer here has an Intel processor, so KVM support is not available. But in this example, I've got the GNS3 VM running within the VirtualBox. KVM support is available because this is a Windows 8 computer with an AMD processor. The way you enable this is under settings. You go to system, processor, and you check this checkbox, enable nested VTX. If that's enabled, you can use appliances such as iOS V routers in GNS3. So in this example, I've got two iOS V routers booting up. Now this isn't a very good computer, so it's taking it a while to boot up. But once again, notice KVM support is available and notice I'm able to add iOS V routers to the topology. When I try to do that on this computer, I got the error message that the remote server doesn't support KVM. I need to run a Linux server or the GNS3 VM with a VMware Workstation Pro or VMware Workstation Player and CPU virtualization instructions. This is the problem. KVM support is not available, but once again, it is available on this computer because it's using an AMD processor and I've enabled nested virtualization in VirtualBox. Now, once again, only AMD processors currently support nested virtualization with VirtualBox. That's at the time of this recording, 2nd of January, 2019. Hopefully that'll change soon and Intel processors will also be supported. I'll create another video when VirtualBox supports nested virtualization on Intel processors, but this is a great way to start 2019. Okay, so the routers have booted up. As you can see, the processor on my computer isn't very good, but that's not gonna stop us. I'm going to go on to the first router, no shut the gigabit 00 interface and configure an IP address on this router. Now previously, if you had tried to do this without nested virtualization, it would have been extremely slow even on a high performance computer. So even though you had a decent computer, I've run this as an example on my Mac, it was unbelievably slow. But this is still, but this is okay, even though I'm using a slow computer. This is just a laptop that I had available that's got an AMD processor. But notice I've configured this router with an IP address on the Gigabit 00 interface. I've configured a loopback and I've enabled EIGRP. Here's router two, so give the router host name of router two, create a loopback, quadruple two. Go on to the Gigabit 00 interface, IP address 10.1.1.2. I'm also using VNC here to connect to my Windows computer. So it's not the quickest solution, but it allows me to record from my Mac 
and connect to the Windows computer. You can see an EIGRP neighbor relationship has been formed. So show IP EIGRP neighbor. There's our neighbor relationship, ping the loopback of router one. That works. Show IP route. We can see the routing table with the loopback in the routing table. On this side, ping quadruple two. That works. I can ping the loopback of router two. Show IP route shows us the routing table of router one. So again, I am running iOS V routers here. I'll just remove this one. I'm running Cisco iOS V routers. These routers require QMU. Notice QMU. Previously, you couldn't, or I mean, you could if you really hacked it. You couldn't easily run iOS V routers on a virtual box because KVM support was not available. But now KVM support is available on VirtualBox. What I'll do here is save my router configurations and shut GNS3 down, just to remind you once again of how you configure nested virtualization on VirtualBox. So I'll shut GNS3 down. The GNS3 VM in this example has been automatically shut down. That's a setting that you configure in GNS3. And what I'll show you here are the settings for the GNS3 VM. Under system, processor, you simply enable this checkbox, enable nested VTX AMDV. Again, that's only supported currently on AMD processors. On this Intel computer, if I try and enable nested virtualization on the GNS3 VM, I can't do that. So if I go to settings, system, processor, notice this box is grayed out. I can't enable nested virtualization because this is an Intel processor, but yeah, I've got an AMD processor and I can enable nested virtualization. So I hope this is great news for the beginning of 2019. I wanna wish you all the very best.